Hi everyone, this is Ho from Minus again. Welcome to the second training video. During the second video, we are going to cover graphic user interface of Midas Civil. Are you excited? <laughs> Let's go together. Some of you may wonder why we need to learn about GUI. Well, we need to understand the GUI of software to use functions properly and maximize the benefit. Knowing the GUI of software program is like having a map while traveling. It gives you clear insight to get to the destination quickly and easily. After you download the file name cable state from our website, please double click the icon and open it. After you successfully open your bridge model, let's look into the menus and windows. These are the main menu. It shows the commands, shortcut keys, and all the functions to run Midas Civil. And it operates like Microsoft software. So if I double click on the view tab, then it disappears. If I double click again, it appears. If I move my wheel button on my mouse, then it changes the tab too. Second, these are the three menu and it shows the entire procedure for modeling, analysis, and design. So just at a glance, you know how many material sections are registered and what kind of materials and sections are used. Also, what kind of boundaries and elastic links. So basically, you know all the conditions of this bridge model. By using this tree menu, you can cross-check each other's work. So this tree menu is very helpful as you will see in the next few videos. This window is called model window and it shows modeling, interpretation of analysis and design in graphical format. But I know some of you prefer other formats such as table. For that, you can go to tables tab from the tree menu. And if I double click, let's say I want to see notes. If I double click notes under structured tables, then you'll be able to see your bridge model in tabular format. If I want to look at the model window again, then you can just simply click the tab. So you can move tabs to tab at any time. If you want to look at them both at the same time, then please go to view tab from the main menu. And let's go to the end, click tile vertically. Then you'll be able to see a bridge model in both tabular format and graphical format. Both graphical and tabular format interact each other, meaning whenever you make any modifications to your bridge model in model window, then it will change values in table. Also, in the other way, let's select some information from your table window by dragging, click, and drag. Then these nodes are selected on the table window. They are also selected in model window. I will exit out at this point. So please click this X button, make the model window wide. So please click this square button that you will be only seeing model window again. To make your bridge model bigger or smaller, you can scroll your wheel button on your mouse. I hope your mouse have a wheel button because sometimes I see a few mouses without wheel button. So please use mouse with wheel button whenever you use Meta Civil. If you want to move your bridge model, then you can click your wheel button and move your mouse side to side. Then your bridge model will be moved. If you want to rotate your bridge model, then you can press control button from your keyboard and press your wheel button at the same time and move your mouse then you'll be able to rotate your bridge model if i made my bridge model so small and i just lost them then don't worry there are rectangles and arrows on the top right corner of your model window if you click them then it automatically fits your bridge model onto the model window in the view you want to see let's go to view tab from the main menu click hidden by clicking this button all the section properties are reflected onto your bridge model now your bridge model looks like a real bridge not merely just nodes and elements still on the same view tab but let's click select and select by window click window and then let's click somewhere 
and make a rectangle on your bridge model and then click somewhere again then you can see some part of your bridge model is highlighted in red which means the nodes and elements within the rectangle are selected and on the same tab please click this active button then you can only see selected nodes and elements only so if you don't want to be bothered with other parts then you can use this active button only see the nodes and elements that you want to look in if you click this inverse active you can only see the rest of the bridge model that you didn't select it let's click this activate all so you can see all nodes and elements of your bridge model now we are going to use drag and drop feature by using tree menu but before we actually do it i know some of you may not have tree menu because if you click this close button then it can make your tree menu disappear in that case please go to this black space between main menu and model window and right click and click this tree menu then you'll be able to bring your tree menu back okay let's use drag and drop feature from tree menu please go to properties under properties there are materials and section please expand section tab and let's select section 14 then do you see your peers are highlighted in red those are the elements that section 14 is used while they are highlighted please press section 23 drag it and drop on your model window then do you see your peer just changed by using this drag and drop feature the bridge model was like this before and now they used section 23 so in this way you can not only change the peers but rest of the bridge model if you want quick modification then you can use drag and drop feature at any time I will close this material and section and I want to see not only bridge model but also other aspects like supports or elastic link they can be shown in graphical format as well so under boundaries tab there are supports if I click this plus button on the supports I see a type 1 and if I right click it I see many different functions that I can I can use if I click this display then the supports types are shown on the graphical model let's say if i want to see a static loads on this model that is applied onto this model then let's click this plus button again under static loads case one and right click element beam loads and click display then if i move control button and will button then i see uh, element beam loads now if i right click element beam loads and click on display then i can make it disappear again also under view tab if i click display um, the arrow below display and display option and let me go to draw tab i want to change the color of my bridge model by let's say section type and i want to select random color um, and apply it uh, okay do you see my bridge model changed they are changed by each different sections that are used so in this case at a glance you know that all of the pink parts of your bridge model use the same sections same as for purple yellow blue and green too so as you may hear from other engineers Midas Civil is very user intuitive Okay, we are done exploring GUI of Meta Civil. How was it? I hope you feel more comfortable with the software. Since GUI of Meta Civil is very intuitive, I'm assured that you will easily figure out which tabs or windows to go whenever you're lost. Now you have a map of our software program. Thank you for listening to the second video, which we covered graphic user interface of Meta Civil. In the next video, we will learn about the fundamental base of Meta Civil through simple beam modeling. This video will give you confidence in finite element analysis works. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you on the next video. Bye bye!